Hey everyone, back to part two of my 97-98 score break. I have to say that these cards even smell like I remember them. Let's see part one, if you haven't got a clue what I'm talking about there. Uh, Jeanness, um Theo Fleury in an all-star shirt. Uh, Satan, Oz Lynch and Sean Burke. Incidentally, don't write in. I know he's not really called Satan. How I wish he was. I'm a little disappointed. I just went on um, David Adams' card world, where I got these from, to notice that the odds are halved on their site. They've misquoted them. I shall be having a word. Uh, Magnus Arvidsson, rookie. I said I should get Golden Blades and things way more than I'm getting, so I'm not very happy about that. Uh, Rusinski, Scott Niedermeyer, Jonas Hoagland. Cliff Running, um, oh, Vladimir Konstantinov with the cup, Tony Granato, a rookie of somebody called Yaroslav Svikovsky, don't know, caps, he obviously made it big, and Kurt McLean. Uh, Bernie Nichols, Rem Murray, Pat Verbeek. Keith Primo and Jamie Storr. 270 cards for this one, incidentally. I don't know how many of those I'll get from this. Brett Hull. God, I didn't St. Louis Blues have a cracking uniform back then. Adam Oates, Nicholas Sundstrom, Tchaikovsky, and Ron Tugnett. Oh, that's a blast from the past, isn't this? Todd Marchand. Todd Warriner, Alexi Yashin, Wendell Clark, Tommy Sarlo. Trevor Linden, Jeff Sanderson, Damon Lankow, Steve Sullivan, and somebody called Marcel Cousino. I believe I've never even heard of him. I thought that, well, entirely plausible that Glenn Healy was their backup that year. Um, hmm, interesting. Cujo's helmet, you'll notice, adorning the packs on this one. Uh, Andrew Castles, Pierre Turgeon, Keith Jones, Adam Foote, and somebody called Rick Tabaracci. I don't really know him either. He's mid 90s backup goalies. Uh, Brian Savage, Raymond Lankow. Chris, oh, Chris Phillips rookie, I didn't know that was his year. Okay, Dimitri Kristich and Guy Hebert. Uh, rookie of somebody called Larry Corville. Palfi, Dvorak, Steve Eisenman, Signature Moves, and Jim Perry. Then, Eric Darze, Ray Ferraro, oh, Joe Thornton, rookie. Okay, there's quite a lot more rookies in this one than I thought. Brian Leach, and a rather nice one of the cat there. Uh, JJ Danio, Kovalchuk, Brendan Shanahan, rookie of Vadim Sharivanov. Okay, and there's the feature of the set, Cujo. Playing for the Oilers. I think, back in the day, it's uh, Florida. They're only just my favourite team. I think it was only because I went to Florida that they became my favourite team, because I used to be a Leaf supporter, and I still quite like the Leafs. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think this was what kind of cemented my, my Florida allegiance. Harry York... Darren Turcott, Joe Sackick, anybody who wants to see me, Ray Borg, and Harry Leland. Jerome Ginler, Claude Lemieux, uh, Victor Kozlov, Federal Signature Moves again, and Jim Carrey again. 
Well, I'm quite disappointed at the moment. We're not really hitting anything. But as I say, the odds pointed to me are definitely not right. So, uh, lucky to get anything. Uh, interesting one there of Daniel Alfredson. Matt Sundin. Kevin Hatcher. Checklist of Brian Burrard. Oh, do you remember that Islander shirt? Everybody hated that. And Damien Rose. Wish they'd remake a set like this, actually. They are very nice and uncomplicated. Yaga. Uh, rookie of Eric Rasmussen. Kasparitis, Kamensky, and Wayne Rollison. Chris Bratton. Uh, Thomas Sandstrom, Matthew Schneider, the infamous Oli Jokin and Rookie Card, and uh, oh, Craig Billington, blimey. Whatever became of him? This Epics card, while it's sitting on my desk, it, it's amazing. It's refracting all over the place. It looks like a disco. And it's Lexi bloody Ashen! Uh, Smolinski, Eisman signature moves, Eisman regular, well, the signature move one isn't really unregular. Chris Chelios, he's just retired at 48, I think. He's played like 5 million seasons in the NHL. And Patrick Waugh. Wow. Okay, maybe not 5 million. Maybe 4 million. Andres Dackel, Keith Jones, Vladimir Vorobiev, rookie of Dan Cleary, and the mysterious Marcel Cousineau again. It's not even a rookie card, and I have absolutely no idea who he is. Um, that was a terrible one of Mark Recchi. Saku Koivu, oh, Mark Fitzpatrick, back up. I have virtually every Fitzpatrick card ever made, um, but I don't really want them anymore, so if you want them, let me know. Uh, Paul Career Checklist and Chris Osgood. Some of these are really strange, they're totally like non hockey photographs. Having a drink there. Uh, another Panther. It's Ray Shepherd. Then, oh, Fedorov. Golden Blades with the cup there. Quite a lot of the Detroit cards are with the cup. I think they got two in a row, didn't they, around that time? Scott Lachance, Mike Pecker, Mike Vernon. Mike Vernon was the first card in the four. Then Rick Toshett, a checklist featuring Broder and Mike Dunham. I certainly have that one. Trying to get rid of my Mike Dunham cards, nobody really wants them. Um, and I just seem to keep accumulating them, so if you want them, let me know. Mike Medano, uh, Mike Gartner, all the Mikes, and Gita there. I think he might have been card number one. I oh, know, maybe not. Number six. I don't know who number one was. I think the goalies were all at the front of this set. Doug Gilmore, Alexander McGillney. Cool. Does anybody remember that Canucks uniform? Bloody hell. Rob Niedermeyer. Rochelle and Kudo again. Ulf Darlin, what about got Baron Defoe? Just nestling away in the corner there. Scott the Shots, Brian Arms, rookie of Boyd Devereux, and Olaf Colzing. And the bottom here. Through these quite quickly, actually. Can have any packs? Steve Duchesne, Mike Gartner. Oh, Mike Gartner's a Golden Blade. Yay! Uh, Don Poof, Stephen Rice, and somebody called Ken Reggett. That's a name I only vaguely know. Then Ethan Moreau, John Cullen. Valerie Bure, Randy Ch uh, Cunnyworth, blimey, Ron Tugnett, 
trying to do a very brief calculation in my head of whether I can actually get a set out of this box and I can't because there aren't any cards. I might have to break one of the bigger ones. Um, Matthew Barnaby. Oh, I've got another epic. Please, 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 God, don't be ashen, don't be ashen, don't be ashen. Hey! It's uh, Dominic Hashek. Oh, well, that's better. To say that the uh, awful, horrendous idea of collecting all of these cards is getting at me now. Rookie of Unilund. Rookie of Batman Prosper. And a very flamey card of Trevor Kid. And uh, last but not least, signature moves of Pavel Bure. This is just before he came to Florida, I think. Jason Allison, Kirk Muller, Adam Debmarsh, I know there's a few fans of his out there. And Chris Osgood having a drink again. So, not terrible. Lots of face, obviously. As this set was not uh, jerseys, were only just coming in. I think that. Uh, 1997 was the first time that Upper Deck had, it, had, a, had a bright idea of putting stuff up. Um, so what did we get? Three Golden Blades. I forget my odds. Uh, what did one in six, was it one in 16? So that was okay. Mike Gartner, Sergei Fedorov, and Ziggy Palfi. Then one Check It, which ironically and rather bizarrely is one I've already got. That was one in 37, so yeah, that was to be expected, really. Then I didn't get any net worth, which, no, so I didn't get artist proof, but I did get two epics cards, which I had no business getting, so that almost makes up for it. Um, one is epics play. These are so nice. These are so nice. Oh, do I want a set of these? I have to do. And the really, the, the loveliest card, which unfortunately features the unloveliest player, was Alexei Yashim. As I say, as I'm sitting here, it's just, it's gorgeous. Beautifully designed. Um, I seem to think when I bought these in America, I do remember getting Golden Blades of War, I think, and Olaf Kolzig. And I think I've got Moog and Salo ones, but I traded some of them away. I had a Ray Bort one as well, I think, but I traded some of them away um, because I didn't really want to collect the set. Um, well, I wanted to collect the base, but not the inserts. And I got an Eric Lindros Epics Play, the orange one. And that's gone now as well. But, uh, yeah, I'm really tempted, actually, to see if I can get the set. It would be a challenge. But as I say, some other cards are going to have to go if I do that, because I just don't have the room. So yeah, thank you for watching. They don't make sets like this anymore, unfortunately. Hit that thumb and I'll see you back for whatever else is in the post.